Tonight, our Call 6 Investigates team continues to dig for answers about carriers moved to Mexico. You watched as we traveled to Mexico, and now we are asking about the company's plan to return $1.2 million to the city of Indianapolis. We have seen your question. How will that money be used? Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez is working on that tonight. Rafael? Erica, good evening. I took that question directly to the top today. One of the many questions I had from Mayor Joe Hawk said about the task force that he created to look into ways to help the workers impacted by carrier's decision. The mayor tells us that the $1.2 million in property tax break that the company will refund to the city will not, will not go back into the general fund. Mr. Hawkset says he will ask the city county council to redirect all of those dollars to fund programs to assist in retraining carrier employees. The company plans to start cutting back on the production of furnaces in Indianapolis sometime beginning next year. I think it's entirely appropriate to use all 1.2 million, which was originally uh, given to carrier as incentives, uh, to enhance their economic uh, footprint here in Indianapolis, use all of that money to help those 1,400 fit working families that are now adversely impacted by this decision. I've also seen your questions about the website that the city set up for carrier workers about two weeks ago. The website currently says information is coming soon. The city says it is waiting to see what incentives a carrier offers employees before it starts posting updated information. The mayor's office says the website has encouraged potential employers to reach out to them and disclose future job openings. When that time is right, um, there, there are employers that have reached out to us already and said, hey, when, when, when these workers are ready to move, we've got, we've got a place for some of them. So that, the website will be a place to share that type of information. And we'll have more information about the, our discussion over the next couple of days. Over the next couple of months, the mayor's office expects to announce job fairs that may benefit carrier employees. In the meantime, employees can sign up on that city website to receive updates in the future. Erica? Rafael Sanchez staying on top of the story. Thank you, Rafael. And there is so much more to the story that we've been working for you to cover. You can head to the IndyChannel.com slash moving to Mexico. There you will find an interactive timeline of events since the announcement, comments from carrier employees, executives, and Indiana leaders about that move.